Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are facing an unprecedented challenge in the sense that coronavirus pandemic is affecting us all across the world. We have had to make an extremely difficult decision to temporarily suspend all mosque activities, including Juma prayers. It has been easy to make the decision to close the house of God. But the doors of our mosque may be closed for protection of human life and preserving the health and well-being of Muslims. But the doors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are ever open. Allah says in the Holy Quran, وَإِذَا سَعَلَكَ إِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَعِيدِ When my servants ask you, where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? فَإِنِّي قَعِيدِ Say that I am near you. How close is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? In another verse, Allah says in Surah Qaf, that وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ that we are closer to you than your jugular vein. In other words, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so close to us that we don't necessarily need a building, a house to worship him. It's extremely important to visit mosques, to pray in congregation prayer. You get 27 times more reward in, for praying in congregation prayer. But it is not voluntarily that most had to be closed. It is for safety of human life. And in Islam, protection of human life, the obligation to protect human beings from harm supersedes all other considerations, including the act of praying in a congregation. And that is not something that's been derived by contemporary scholars, but actually Islamic tradition has precedence and guides us to adjust to the challenges that we're facing. So the doors of our mosque may be closed, but the spiritual and pastoral care of our community must carry on. And whenever there's a doom and gloom, there's always an opportunity. Coronavirus endemic has given us the opportunity to think of creative and innovative ways to connect with our communities. We live in a digital world where we can connect with our Muslim brothers and sisters with our smartphones. In the palm of our hands, with a smartphone, we can reach out to millions of people. So my proposal to my fellow Imams, my recommendation to the scholars of Islam would be to make greater use of technology to connect with their congregation. If we cannot give Friday sermons, khutbah, for Juma prayer, please use that time via Facebook Live, via connect, via other means, online ways to connect with your congregation. Carry on giving a reminder. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wazakirhum fa inna zikrat al faul mu'minin." These days, when there is so much pessimism, when there is so much frustration and perhaps helplessness. We, Imams, can inspire our communities to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, we can urge and provide daily reminders or many reminders in a day to our communities and our congregations to continue to pray at home. You know, use this time that we have, even in self-isolation perhaps, our families can use that time wisely to Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I will be giving 
various online bayanas, various online messages and reminders to those who follow me on Facebook. Similarly, there are already many Imams who are using digital technology for spreading the message of love, peace, and inspiring their communities. You know, whether it be online teaching, because obviously our mosque will not be teaching the, the, the to madrasa children, you know, but there are online resources available to teach young children. And so mosques also need to think about how they can invest in better technology, you know, in, 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 in a more comprehensive package, online package, to reach out to their communities, to reach the homes of our, our congregations. Our you know, family members can sit together and listen to the reminders, the speeches, the you know, sessions that you as Imams may be able to provide uh, to your congregation. So, although coronavirus has crippled us in one sense, our spirits are strong. And our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. He's the source of all power and all strength. This is an opportunity to have that inner strength to make ourselves stronger in our faith by connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the technological resources that are available to us. So here to my digital fellow Imams and also digital fellow friends on social media, let's start a new way of connecting with each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those who connect with each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those connections will remain strong in this world and in the next world as well. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he helps us to think and reflect on our current situation and helps us to think about creative ways, online ways to connect with each other and, and spread the message of Islam and provide to each other daily reminders uh, about how important it is to to keep firm on the straight path in such testing times.